Hey guys and welcome back to the channel today. We are in the home stretch with finishing up the bodywork on Project Dale, so stay tuned. So this is Saturday and the plan is to finish up this weekend on all the bodywork as far as getting the patch panels in place. Today, we're going to work on getting this rocker panel tacked into place. Today, we're going to work on getting this patch panel. Today, we're going to work on getting this rocker panel tacked into place, as well as maybe the inner structure, and we'll see how far we can get on the cab corner. So, let's get some measurements and start cutting. So we've been under the truck and we've got everything all measured up on the inner rocker panel. Time to get it cut. Now I'm not sure if we showed you on the other side putting the inner rocker panel in, but it's going to sit down in this little lip right here. We're going to grind this down and give it a place to weld on that as well as drill some holes so that we can weld it in as a plug weld into the back side of this outer rocker. We'll also grind away at the floor pan to give it something to stick to there. Now we do have it cut to fit. We do have a little bit more trimming to go but it's going to sit in here just like so and we'll get her welded in. Okay, so now it's Sunday. Um, I decided to get finished up what I had to get done and we're getting ready to go underneath the truck and weld up that inner rocker. So we've got the rocker all cleaned up, all drilled out for the plug welds and uh, we'll get that put into place and clamped up and then we'll start welding. But guys, if you haven't done it already, consider subscribing to this channel. The red button down at the bottom and hit that bell notification. That way it'll remind you with an email for each time I post a new video here on Project Dale. Anyways, let's get under the truck and get this welded up. Okay, so as I shared with you yesterday, we've got this area cleaned out. We've got a couple of holes drilled to do some plug welding on the inner panel. And we've got the surface underneath the truck all cleaned up where we're going to be welding along here as well as this lip here. And of course, down in the bottom part of the outer rocker. So let's get this inner put up into place so you can see where it goes. All right, so we've got this all cleaned up so it's gonna slide in behind that. Like so. The rest of this is just kind of pressure fit up in there. And so what we'll do is we'll be able to plug weld here, all along the bottom, and then all up inside here bunch of spots all up in here so we're going to do the spots that are really solidly held into place right now which is along the bottom as well as right here and then we'll come along and do the top side so let's get the welder out get things cranked up
All right, so we managed to get the inner rocker panel all welded in there. Uh, we had it probably about three quarters in place before I realized I didn't have the gas onto the MIG welder. So we cranked the gas up, we went back over a few spots and made sure that everything was well attached. Now it's time we tackle the final leg of this whole welding journey. We've got to cut out the outer cab corner on this, the inner on this side is actually good. So we're going to try and do our best to salvage that inner without having to cut it out and just take off what we have to on this outer. So we'll get the grinder ready to roll and we'll start making some cuts and drilling out some spot welds. So I just went through and marked all of our spot welds and we've got one, two, three here. We've got four across the bottom and we've got several hidden in the rust here. One, two, three, and I think there's another one down there. So I'm thinking we're going to be able to cut right across like we did on the other side and back this way. My concern is getting all of this out without destroying what's in behind as part of that structure. But we're going to try, we're going to start with an eighth inch drill bit, drill that out, uh, and then we'll come back with like a half inch and uh, get down that first layer. Now the technique that I'm using here with the eighth inch drill bit and then the half inch is something that I learned from scavenging YouTube and finding somebody that you like to watch. Now Lakeside Auto, Auto Body is a channel I've been following for the last couple of weeks now and he's been doing a lot of rust repair and such like that so he's the one that gave me the tip on drilling these out without having a specific uh, spot weld tool. So drill the whole way through with an eighth inch and come back with your half inch and just get into that first layer that you're trying to remove. So let's get to it. Now we've got our half inch on and time to dig in. Now remember you don't want to go all the way through, you just want to go until you see that break in the first, between the first and second layer. Let me get a close up. So I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but you can see a little line develop right there all the way around. That means we're through our first layer into our second and that's where we want to stop. So I'm going to go through the rest of them and get them done. Well, there you have it folks. We started this journey several weeks ago by getting the seats out, taking the carpet up and treating the floor so that they wouldn't go any further. From there, we came over, took the doors off the passenger side, cut out the rocker panels, cut out the cab corners, put inners and outers on both and proceeded to teach ourselves how to weld. Then we decided it was time to attack the holes in the fender. So we cut those out and we put some patch panels in here on the passenger side as well as over here on the driver's side. Once we got the patch panels done in the fenders, we then came over to the driver's side and started cutting things out here. We got the rocker panel in, inner as well, and we've also got the cab corner in here all grinded down, all welded up and grinded down and just about ready for some body fill. Once we get the body fill done, we can then prime and paint to match, and that part of the truck build will be done. I anticipate a few episodes out before we get to paint, but in the next episode, we'll definitely be doing body fill and primer. Once all the body work is done, we can then tackle the lowering kit here on Dale. So I'm really looking forward to that. I know you guys are too, but as of right now, this is where we are. I appreciate you sticking around and watching me learn as I go to places that I've never been before when it comes to bodywork and welding. I've got lots of encouragement, I've got a great support team which is you guys and of course the YouTube world is just a vast for The YouTube world has a bunch of information and and of course YouTube is an infinite and of course YouTube is a great source of videos
to learn. So thanks for everyone for sticking around. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.